Hello and welcome to today's daily devotion. I'm reading to you from the Gospel of Matthew, the 28th chapter, starting at verse 1 and reading through verse 15. Hear now these words. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised as he said, Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met the women and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests everything that had happened. After the priest had assembled with the elders, they devised a plan to give a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You must say, His disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. If this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed, and this story is still told among Jews to this day. Here we are on the Monday after Easter. Resurrection Day was yesterday, and now we are looking at the different gospel accounts of Jesus' resurrection. And in Matthew's gospel, we get a very clear bifurcation of one story versus the other. The story of the angel coming down, rolling away the stone, and the guards becoming so afraid they're like dead men the women visiting and experiencing that Jesus is not there, he is risen. Or the other story that the chief priests and the elders devised of saying, you, the guards, must say, his disciples stole his body while we were asleep. Which story should be believed? That is a crucial question even for us today. As I think about the guards in this story, I really, uh, I feel for them because they are stuck between the literal rock of the stone being rolled away and the hard place of where these priests want them to be. For you see, they're in a no-win situation. Either they have to say, it really happened that he was resurrected and an angel came and rolled the stone, or we fell asleep, we were derelict in our duties, and somehow the disciples rolled that stone away, got his body, rolled that stone back, and we never heard. I'm not sure which story stretches my sense of incredibility more. That God could do something, or that the disciples could do something. I know I choose to believe that God could do it, but there are so many, even today in our world, who say, nope, couldn't happen, never happened, the disciples did something, and Jesus is not alive. Well, my friend, I encourage you today to listen to the women and believe that Jesus is alive. And I'll see you tomorrow for another daily devotion.